This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hello, everyone. It's Seth. Probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. So this week, we are heading once again to Throne of Valderain Standard for a deck that I'm calling Standard Affinity. Basically, Artifact Aggro, except Artifact Aggro that can also go super long in a really weird way. I'm really excited for this deck. I think this deck is super sweet. I've kind of been messing around with builds of it for a while and pretty happy with how the budget build turned out. So uh, before we jump into it, a super quick reminder. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy budget magic in general, it would be so sweet of you. If you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. Oh yeah, also want to mention, 76 bucks of paper, 26 ticks on Magic Online, I believe 16 main deck rares and no mythics on Magic Arena, so pretty reasonable price for a deck that I actually think has a lot of potential in Standard. So let's talk Standard Affinity, starting with kind of the comparison. So in Modern, and this is kind of what we're basing the deck after, modeling the deck after, Modern Affinity, two of the biggest payoffs are Steel Overseer, just to pump all of our artifact creatures, and Cranial Plating. Well, we kind of have both of these in a weird way at Throne of Eldorade Standard. We have Literal Steel Overseer, and then we also have All That Glitters, which is kind of our Cranial Plating. It works very similarly, pumping our creature equal to all of our artifacts and enchantments we control. Uh, downside is, it's an aura, so if our creature dies, we can't just like move it around like we could in equipment, but still, it is a very frightening payoff for this deck. So Steel Overseer, All That Glitters are our two best aggro payoffs. So we win a decent amount of games with this deck by playing a bunch of cheap artifact creatures, playing a Steel Overseer to pumping, 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 making them huge and winning, or just playing a bunch of cheap artifact creatures, sticking in All That Glitters, hopefully on an evasive creature, and killing our opponent in just a few really big attacks thanks to All That Glitters. So that's kind of the aggro plan of the deck. For this plan to work, as I mentioned, we need a bunch of cheap artifact creatures, and probably the best of our bunch, as weird as it sounds, is Ginger Brute, which happens to be hasty, so it chips in for damage. More importantly, it turns itself into an unblockable, for the most part, creature for just a single mana, and a lot of matchups not being able to be blocked except by haste creatures just ends up being straight up blockable. So it makes it a great target for our All That Glitters, and it's one of our best ways to win in the late game as well. We win sub games where we just like, Ginger Brood on turn one, All That Glitters, All That Glitters, attack, attack, kill our opponent before they can do anything. Also, in the late game, we sometimes get to this weird state where both players just have really big boards, we got a ton of artifacts, and eventually we just Ginger Brew All That Glitters, one-shot our opponent. So Ginger Brew, our best one-drop. We also have a couple of kind of filler one-drops, Lockway Gargoyle, Inquisitive Puppet. The downside of these cards is, unless we can pump them in some way. Uh, they don't really attack immediately. Lockwing Gargoyle, a 0-3. Inquisitive Puppet, a 0-2. The Scry is nice on Inquisitive Puppet, and Lockwing Gargoyle eventually can pump itself and turn to a flyer. But really, these cards are especially good if we have a Steel Overseer to pump them. Something like One Drop on turn 1, Steel Overseer on turn 2, One Drop, One Drop on turn 3, pump everything. That can steal a lot of games as well. And then we have Stone Coil Serpent, which I think is one of the more underrated cards from Throne of Eldorain. Uh, it can can be uh, just a 1-1 one, one for 1, but then the late game is like a 7-7 seven, seven for 7, because we can dump all of our mana into it, and unlike previous creatures, uh, these X cost 0-0 zero, zero creatures, it has a lot of abilities. Protection from multicolor means it dodges like Teferi, it dodges Oko, it dodges Assassin's Trophy, Bedevil, there's actually like a lot of removal that it dodges, and it just stonewalls some important creatures, uh, like the, all the Gruul creatures, the multicolor hasty Gruul creatures, Stone Coil just shuts them down, plus it has Reach and Trample, making it another other good target for our all that glitters like yeah maybe it doesn't have true evasion but still if we can make that into like a 15 power trampler that's gonna get the job done pretty quickly so that's kind of the aggro plan of the deck steel overseer all that glitters all these aggressive creatures but the reason I really love this deck is it's an aggro deck that sometimes just kills people like on turn four, but it also can go super long. And one of our best ways of going super long is Mystic Forge. And in our deck, we have 30 cards that we can play with Mystic Forge, uh, and that's including all of our lands. So 50-50, that the top card of our deck is going to be a card we can cast with Mystic Forge. So in the late game, uh, once things go a little bit long, maybe our opponent rass our board or has a bunch of removal, Mystic Forge is usually letting us play multiple things each 
each turn. We're just kind of like playing one drops off the top of our deck, rebuilding really quickly, eventually finding our all that glitters and then playing it. So Mystic Forge allows us to play this long game, recover from Wrath and our opponent's removal. Then we have Emery Lurker of the Lock, and one of the challenges of being a Mystic Forge deck and a Steel Overseer deck, a deck that cares about artifacts and all that glimmers deck, is we really want this critical mass of artifacts, so it's very painful to play non-artifact cards in our deck, because it fizzles Mystic Forge, it doesn't pump all that glitters, doesn't get pumped by Steel Overseer, but Emery Lurker of the Lock is just so good in this deck that we're willing to make an exception. Uh, Emery, usually going to be one mana in this deck, often his early as turn two, and then it just allows us to cast an artifact from our graveyard. So in the early game, we can get back like Steel Overseers that died, or that we mill over with Emery, and then in the late game, it gets really crazy. We're getting back like Mystic Forges and just really going to town. So even though Emery, not an artifact herself, she's just so, so strong in such a great card advantage engine that we make room for her in the deck. The other card we have that allows us to go long is Arcanus Owl, which uh, looks a little expensive, but a four mana, three, three flyer, actually pretty fine, and then it digs four deep to grab an artifact or enchantment, so it's going to find something. It's very unlikely that we're ever going to whiff, because we have like 34 artifacts and enchantments in the deck, so we're almost guaranteed to hit with Arcanus Owl, and one of the nice things about Arcanus Owl is it gives us a way to dig for our all that glitters in the late game, which Mystic Forge, good at finding artifacts, doesn't really allow us to immediately play all the glitters. Arcanus Owl can dig for that as well, plus it puts a nice body, a flying body that can block rankles and be a little bit bigger. If we pump it once with a Steel Overseer, it can block a questing beast plus is another evasive creature for all that glitters so really great in the deck the last card in the deck is corridor monitor and this is a card that i initially resisted putting into the deck just a two mana one four comes into play untaps an artifact or creature we control uh, but it actually has a surprising amount of synergy we can do cool tricks where we like uh have a steel overseer that's not summoning sick we can play corridor monitor and with the untap trigger on the stack targeting our steel overseer we can tap steel overseer pump everything including corridor monitor untap it pump everything everything again so that's nice even just like untapping a mystic forge to get another exile to get rid of an extra land or an emery to cast a second thing from our graveyard pretty powerful and it's an artifact so it works with all of our synergy so i've really kind of come around i would say on corridor monitor after initially thinking it was a little cheesy trying to just untap steel overs here but really what sold me is having mystic forges and emery's as additional untap targets so a lot of times we have something that's worth untapping with corridor monitor mana base wise we're playing limited mana base essentially 12 islands 10 planes uh i think this deck can get away with it it's partly a budget choice and partly because our deck is mostly colorless so we can kind of afford this mana base if you look at our deck we need blue mana for emery we need white mana for all that glitters otherwise i guess quarter monitor needs blue mana but for the most part almost our entire deck can be cast with any color of mana so if there was ever a deck that could get by with playing an all basic mana base it's this one good way to minimize wild cards on arena and spend like $50 on a place at a hollowed fountain, although uh, you should play hollowed fountain if you have it. If you have it, definitely play four copies of hollow fountain. It will make the deck slightly more consistent, especially after sideboarding where we have more colored cards. So sideboard wise, Conclave Tribunal, Glass Casket, targeted removal citywide bus, basically to answer things like questing beast. Uh, a lot of our creatures start off really small. If we don't have a way to pump them, a Questing Beast can just kind of wreck us by attacking through our creatures because they all have two or less power. Then we have Argolo stuff. Deputy of Detention to get rid of zombies. Ashiok Dream Render just to exile away stuff, fizzle searching. Also, worth mentioning, the other way we beat Golos is we can just be fast enough to beat Golos. If we have like a turn one Ginger Brute, turn two All That Glitters, that can beat Golos while they're like playing their silly tap lands, uh, trying to set things up. That can beat Golos before they get to the point of being able to Wrath our board so worth keeping that in mind too if you're gonna play golos bring in these cards but also just be very aggressive and try to kill the opponent before their rest come online otherwise disdainful stroke hits on a lot of big stuff against control against golos ether gust for red and green stuff sorcerer spyglass especially nice in this deck because we can like mill it to emery cast it from our graveyard witch's oven looks a little bit weird but i actually kind of like it in this deck it can save our creatures from removal like legions end which sometimes two for ones us and it leaves behind a food token which happens to be an artifact so when we care about having a bunch of artifacts for all that glitters on the battlefield, we can kind of like sack a creature for free, quote unquote, and then keep an artifact so our power and toughness remains the same on all that glitters. So a good way to fizzle our opponent's removal, get some value out of it, and then Dance of the Mance, another way to recover from Wrath primarily, bring it in in more controlling Wrath-heavy matchups, eventually draw it in the late game, get back a bunch of stuff from our graveyard, and that is standard.
standard affinity. And that's our budget magic deck for this week. So let's get to the gameplay, see some standard affinity in action. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy it. And I will talk to you soon. All right, budget magic time. We are playing standard affinity. Basically, uh, ginger brew, aggro, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> All right. Uh, six lands is not what this deck wants. Well, I guess this is better-ish. Monitor to the bottom. We're going to need a payoff. We have a lot of zero-powered creatures. Opponent, Temple of Mystery. Sure. Scries to the top. Well, land, ginger brew. Go attacking. Yeah, we're going to need a way to pump our creatures. That's the main thing we need here. Opponent, tap land, gains a life. And Aboreal Grazer. More lands. Uh, all right, Inquisitive Puppet. Scry. Well, we'll keep Mystic Forge. Uh, play Gargoyle. Pass the turn. Mystic Forge isn't a payoff, but it can get us to a payoff. The challenge is going to be if our opponent can Wrath. That's going to be an issue. Field of the Dead. To very time raffler. This isn't a fight you can win. Opponent going to bounce our gargoyle. Yeah, that's fine. Draws a card. And passes. Well, now we have to ginger brew. Uh kill to fairy. Only time will tell. Play an island, play the gargoyle. Um uh, yeah, pass the turn. This is where our opponent gets to wrath mode, so I don't know if we want to just run out the second gargoyle opponent. Yeah, draws a card. Pause of harmony. No life gain, though. And another grazer. Opponent's getting close to zombie mode. Couple land short. Opponent passing. All right. Uh, more gargoyles. Well, it's Mystic Forge. Um, yeah, pass the turn. I don't think we want to draw this Stone Coil Serpent. I think we need quicker damage. There's Golos. So zombies are incoming. Unless our opponent gets another Field of the Dead. So we're going to need to find all that glitters pretty quick. Now that zombies are coming. All right, opponent gets a Fabled Passage. Going to make zombies. We'll crack this. Emery. All right. Well, Emery's fine. Opponent passes. Emery at least can maybe draw us into... Ooh, all right. Steel Overseer. That is a payoff. We will play Steel Overseer. Play Emery. Mill some stuff. Um, Exile Mystic Forge. Play Gargoyle. Pass the turn. All right. Next turn, we get to start growing our team, which is something. Opponent going to make more zombies. Lockwing Gargoyle is good at blocking zombies, at least. Opponent, yep. Another zombie. Combat. Attack. Oh, does our opponent have a Wrath? I think they do. That's not great for us. Uh, so block a zombie. Block Golos. Um, yeah, Sack Puppet. This feels like a impending wrath, though. Ugh, the worst wrath. Time wipe picks up Golos again. All right, opponent makes a zombie. Well, exile a card. Arcanus Owl. Get all that glitters. Land Inquisitive Puppet. Um, yeah, we'll just keep the land. Pass the turn. I mean, we finally found an all that glitters, which means we're going to be able to start getting in some damage. But our opponent's going to start making a lot of zombies. And our opponent has Agent of Treachery. Uh, that's bad. That's very bad. Takes our Mystic Forge. Yeah, it's going to make things hard. Opponent passes. Well, all right. We draw the land we know about. We play Lockwing Gargoyle. All that glitters on Arcanus Owl. Get in for seven. Pass the turn. Oh, it's going to be close. What does our opponent have? They have our Mystic Forge to control their draws, but they shouldn't have much they can play with it other than Golos. Ugh. 
All right. Well, time wipe number two is game. Yeah, all right. And we will scoop it up. Yeah, time wipe number two is time wipe too many. Huh. Opponent, opponent, opponent. Well, disdainful strokes in. Ashiok in. Deputy of detention in. Go down an Emery. Go down a corridor monitor. An inquisitive puppet. Inquisitive puppet. Yeah, let's go down all the puppets. Run it like that. All right. Well, we get a little bit of hate. The disdainful strokes are helpful. We mostly want a fast start. Like, that's how we beat Golos, is something like turn one ginger brute, turn two all that glitters. That is very difficult for, for Golos to beat most of the time. If our opponent can make the game go long enough where they're playing wrath after wrath that's where things can get sketchy especially we can recover from wrath with mystic forge but the combo of agent of treachery to steal mystic forge and the ability to wrath our board multiple times that's where it gets bad all right well let's do it opponent we're on the play yeah all right that is the draw we were talking about we're gonna need to hit a blue source but this is ginger brew into all that glitters if we hit a blue source, this hand should be pretty good. If we don't hit a blue source, it's a lot more questionable. That is one of the downsides of this budget build, is our mana base definitely looks like a limited mana base. Hollowed Fountain, Fabled Passage, too expensive. We can't really afford tap lands. Well, go attacking. So, come on, blue mana, please. Opponent. Tap land. That is blue mana. Well, play the land. All that glitters on ginger brew. Go attack it. Hit our opponent. Down to 60. Well, we're going aggro. That's the plan. Opponent, tap land. Ooh, all right. Uh, play the land. Play, yeah, we're going, we're going all out. Play steel overseer. Stone coil serpent. Get in for five. Opponent down to 11. And do we win next turn if our opponent doesn't have something? Four is for our opponent. Beanstalk giant. Uh, let's see. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh man, I think this is exactly lethal. Opponent passes. We play an island. We steal overseer. Corridor monitor. Untap steal overseer. Steal overseer. And that looks like Xaxes to me. Whoo! All right, take that Golos! Take that Golos! The Ginger Brute, too much to handle on the play. All right, that's the recipe. That is the recipe for success. Almost exactly what we did there. Like, pretty much exactly. Um, whoo, I kind of want the Dance of the Mance for all these Wraths. Yeah, all right, run it back. Run it back, run it back. Well, that's how that's how we try to win. That is the gameplay in this matchup. Pretty much exactly how that went. All right, let's see what the sand looks like. Definitely hoping for all that glitters and preferably ginger brute. Uh, opponent. It does feel good to beat this deck. All right, I mean we're gonna keep this. We're lacking all that glitters, but we do have ginger brutes to start getting in damage, and our opponent's doing some mulliganing. And Deputy Detention's not a bad one to have in hand. Ooh, opponent does some mulliganing. Untap land. Aberyl Grazer. All right, put the land into play. There's our island. Well, Plains, Ginger Brute. Pass the turn. Uh, opponent. Cracks Fable Passage. Drawing away to counter a Wrath would also be helpful. It seems like that's going to be how our opponent can maybe catch up. Opponent passes. Well, play an island. Play ginger brew. Go attacking. Opponent blocks one. Down to 17. We'll pass the turn. Uh, opponent. Tap land gains a life. Yep. All right. Opponent passes. Now play a land to go to combat. All attack. Opponent down to 17. Stone Coil Serpent. X3. Big enough to get through a Abriel Grazer. Pass the turn. Come on, no land, no land, no land. Uh, opponent. All right, hits the land, untapped. 
There's the root. So our opponent is making this work on the mulligan. This is it going to be closed? The problem is this is wrath mana. So our opponent's potentially going to be able to wrath our board if they have a wrath. And then it's going to be about if and how we can recover post wrath. Opponent passes. We draw a plane. So I'll play the planes. Ginger brew. Ginger brew. Go attack it. Opponent blocks. Down to 13. Pass the turn. What do you got, opponent? It's a Golos. Okay. I'm gonna start making zombies. Yup. Opponent passing. I'll play Arcanus Owl. Taking all the glitters. Land. Ginger Brute. Hit our opponent for one. All right, this is it. Do they have the Wrath? This is a huge turn. All the glitters potentially represents lethal. Deputy of detention to keep our opponent alive. Okay, snags Ginger Brutes. And that actually gives us some weird Wrath protection. All right, here comes the zombies. Yep. Opponent. Makes a couple zombies. Gets it. Hmm. Oh, this feels so bad, but I think we have to double block Golos. Because it can... Because it can start casting free spells. Let's see, play a land. Hmm. How do we do this? Arcanus Owl. Goes digging. Gets a... Steel Overseer. Play Steel Overseer. No attacks. Opponent, what do you got? Land. Zombie. Scry. Oh, this is close. We're close to winning this turn, really. To the top. Grow Spiral. Draws what they left on top. Once upon a time. I think we might be able to win this turn. N oh my god, they... Oh, wow. Hits a Knight of Autumn. What a hit. Night of Autumn. Going to blow up Arcanus Owl. Alright. Opponent. No attacks. Well, Deputy of Detention. Get rid of Deputy of Detention. Get back our Ginger Brutes. Opponent's going to have one turn to top deck. All that glitters. Can't be blocked. Pump the dorks. Hit our opponent for seven. All right, opponent, can you top deck a Wrath? That is a question. Draws. It's a land, and that's game. That's game. That does it. Whoo! Taking down Golos with budget standard affinity, and that's what the deck can do. The damage really piles on. Whoo! All right. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Taking down the monster of standard, and sweet. Super sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some standard affinity. Uh, looking to kill people quick with Ginger Brute and friends on a budget. And, yeah, I mean, we'll keep this. We have our Aldic Glitters. We got some stuff we can play. Mana base, meh. Not looking great for this Emery, but good enough. We'll draw blue mana eventually, hopefully. All right, what are we up against? Temple of Melody for our opponent. To the top. Well, Plains, Lockwing Gargoyle. Go. So, probably a Golo stack, I would assume. I guess it could be, like, some sort of mid-range deck. Ooh, all right. Not Golos. Opponent, Paradise Druid. Now, play a land. Play... Yeah, play all the glitters. Get in for two. Uh, opponent. We would like blue mana. Opponent is down to 16, which is something. Tap land. And. Murderous Rider. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. There's our blue mana. Well, play a land. Stone Coil Serpent. X3. Pass the turn. Yeah, we just gotta keep attacking. We'll find more all that glitters eventually. In theory. Fabled Passage. Nissa would be pretty bad. For us. Good for our opponent. Crack's Fabled Passage. Gets a swamp. And three cards in hand. Oko. Oko's not the absolute end of the world. Makes a food. 
I will enlighten. I think a little merriment is in order. And passes. Ooh. Hmm. I'll play a land. Go to combat. Attack Oko. Down to sit. Uh, down to three. Play Mystic Forge. Mm, Arcana Sol, that's not bad. Pass the turn. Pony can turn it into a 3-3, three, three, but then we have another 3-3 three, three to attack with, so, I mean, we would rather have Mystic Forge stay out, but a 3-3 three, three is not horrible. Wow, all right, going to make the food a 3-3. Three, three. Sure. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear indeed, Oko. Varaska Golgari Queen. Thankfully, Stone Quail Serpent's doing some work here by having protection. Ticks up. Going to die anyway. No sacrifice. Gilded Goose. Yep. Opponent. Passing. Hmm. I'll play Emery. Mill some cards. Lockwain Gargoyle. Exile a land. Play planes. All that glitters. Tag Veraska. All right, Veraska down. Okay. We're doing things. We are doing things. What do you got, opponent? Plays a land. One card in hand, plus a murderous rider and this annoying Oko. Oko can't really deal with Stone Coil Serpent, though. If they target it, it actually makes it bigger. Like, they get rid of the protection. I guess it can't actually target it, period. Disregard. Murderous rider. Cast. Are we actually winning this? I kind of feel like we're winning. Assassin's Trophy, sure. But we'll take an island. That's actually kind of okay. Opponent. We can just cast it from our graveyard if we want to. I guess, yeah, I guess Emery is an answer, potentially. Like, opponent can Oko the Emery. All right, just makes a food. We draw another Mystic Forge. Hmm. Well, play Arcanus Owl. Get a Steel Overseer. Play Ginger Brew from our graveyard. Activate it. Oko. Not going to attack with Stone Coil yet, because we don't really want to trade it for like two for food, which is where we'd be at. All right, opponent. On you. On you. What can you draw? I feel like we're actually pretty stable here. Oddly. The protection on Stone Coil has been so huge. We would like to get value before they hit another Murderous Rider, though. Opponent, looking things over. Okay. Downgrades Arcana Sowl. Veraska. Sure. Kills Ginger Brew. Yep. And opponent passes. We draw a Ginger Brute. Oh, play Ginger Brute. Emery. Ginger Brute. Play Ginger Brute. Turn on Ginger Brute. Turn on Ginger Brute. Wait, what one did we activate? This one, all right. Turn on Ginger Brute. Steel Overseer. Combat. Ginger Brute. Hits Veraska. Hits Oko. 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 Here they come. Opponent blocks. 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 Okay. Um, we will kill Food Food Paradise Druid. Leave the murderous rider. Opponent makes a food. Yup. So Oko goes to one. We lose some stuff, but we still have a pretty good board going. Opponent untaps. They're going to need some sort of sweeper or something, I think. And once we get rid of Oko, then this Mystic Forge, or the one from our graveyard, is primed to take over. It is a little unfortunate that we lost two All That Glitters, which is, like, our best card, but we have fought through a lot of Planeswalkers. Like, our opponents had a lot of Planeswalkers. What do you got, opponent? Wicked Wolf? Might be Wicked Wolf. All right. Oh, Emery, 3-3. Three, three. Oh, boy. Emery and Wicked Wolf. Yep. Going to kill Steel Overseer. All right. Here we go. Opponent. Passing. 
Now, play Mystic Forge. Play an island. Ginger Brute. Ginger Brute. Kill Oko. Yup. It's not fair. Stone Coil Serpent. X1. Get a bit deeper. And pass the turn. All right. All right. We need an all that glitters, and we can close this out pretty fast. Opponent. Untaps. Combat. Passing. Uh, do we want another Mystic Forge? Not really. Mm, actually, maybe. Yeah, let's draw a backup just in case. So, Exile the Land. Down to 18. Uh, Ginger Brew. Inquisitive Puppet. Land to the bottom. Corridor Monitor. Untap Mystic Forge. Puppet. Land to the bottom. And... Um... Yeah, we'll wait on that. Let's just ginger brew, ginger brew, get in for two. And I mean, we're getting to the point where if we can hit in all the glitters, it should be a one shot if our opponent doesn't have removal. Opponent gonna make a food token, yup. And we're not super worried about the wicked wolf because we can block it literally forever here. Opponent, another wicked wolf. Assassin's Trophy. Well, that's actually pretty fine because we kept another one in hand. So, it's not a big deal to lose one since we have a second one. Opponent. Passing. We draw Arcanus out. Well, all right. Let's play Arcanus out. Go digging. Take Arcanus out. Arcanus out. Go digging. Take a Lockwing Gargoyle. Pass the turn. We got flyers. All right, opponent. All right, what do you got? What do you got? Things might be slipping away for our opponent here, and this kind of shows the power of our deck. Our opponent, Pladeswalkers, Okos, Removal. They have had a lot, but we're just fighting through it. Like, we have so much card advantage. Untap land for our opponent, down to 12. Big Hydra, maybe? Big Voracious Hydra? What else could it be? Oh, big Crosses. All right. Well, that is, that is somewhat annoying. Crosses, draw a couple cards. Opponent, pass it. We untap. Steal Overseer. Well, play Mystic Forge. Play Steel Overseer. Play Lockwing Gargoyle. Get in for one with a Ginger Brew. Hit our opponent. Down to 13. Next turn, hopefully, is the turn for the win. We'll see what our opponent has. They need something pretty good. Castle Vantress, developing their mana. Opponent. Assassin's Trophy on Steel Overseer. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. We will grab another land. Opponent, one card in hand. What could it be? All the glitter should just win us the game if we draw it. Another crosses. Yep. Well, we will exile a land. Another land. Opponent. Back up to 15. Passing. Upkeep. Exile the land. Down to 16. Draw Mystic Forge. Uh, go to our main phase, Mystic Forge. Activate Mystic Forge. Emery. Hmm. Well, let's see. Ginger Brew. Ginger Brew. Opponent chaining together these, these crosses is, are keeping them in this game a little bit. Go to combat. Opponent. Down to 12. 
past the turn. Boy, we've had a lot of turns to hit a all that glimmers, and we just haven't been able to find it. About it. Veraska. Okay. Wherever I go, I leave body Going to kill a ginger brew. Okay. Pity we couldn't have been allies. Paradise Druid. Sure. I think we're going to end up exiling Emery. Opponent. Passing. Yeah, we're going to upkeep exile Emery. We want that all that glitters. Ugh, all right, draw the land. Oh, my goodness, there it is. If we went one more, we would have had it. Well, ginger brew, activate. Ginger brew. Oh, man. I guess we should have went one more time on our upkeep. Activate. Combat. Hit our opponent. Hit Veraska. Opponent down to 11. I guess the day is your lucky day. Pass the turn. The downside here is our opponent could theoretically... Ugh. They could theoretically have another Assassin's Trophy or some other removal spell to fizzle our All That Glitters. So we would prefer to be able to do this when our opponents tap down or out. All right, opponents tap down, but not out. It's a Garrick. What does Garrick do? I hunt bigger game. Kills a ginger brew. All right. Yep. Looks like. Come on, come on. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. Tap land. One card in hand. Opponent. Passing. I mean, we got to go for it, I think. All that glitters. Top card. Another ginger brute. Play it. Um. Yeah. I mean, we got to go for it. All that glitters on ginger brute. Unblockable. And opponent's done. They don't have it. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And that shows you the power of the deck. If you could see our opponent's graveyard right now... Okos, multiple Veraskas, Wicked Wolf, they were playing all the Haymakers, and it didn't matter. It didn't matter. We were able to fight through and take down Salt Eye. That was a really impressive performance for the deck. Like, who knows what'll happen with this match, whether we will end up winning or losing, but that was a super impressive performance. Super duper, super duper. Uh, all right, so in this matchup, I think we want two Disdainful Strokes, two Ether Gusts, and some number of, hmm, actually, Sorcerer Spyglass and some number of Conclave Tribunals. The question is, how do we make all this fit? Go down... Hmm. Go down the corridor monitors. Go down one Emery. Go down... Ugh. Inquisitive Puppet. Inquisitive Puppet? Wait. We only have one Ether Gust? Oh, I guess we only have one Ether Gust. Eh, okay, that's fine. Um... The other card that is worth considering is Citywide Bust, but this seems like a more Planeswalker heavy build of salt eye all right run it like that here we go here we go can we get another win we're gonna be on the draw here for game number two that was a crazy game though and it really shows you what this deck can do like the deck it can do some crazy things okay i mean we're gonna keep we got a ginger brute this is a decent go long hand potentially opponent tab land well land ginger brew. Go attacking. Opponent down to 19. Ginger Brew is surprisingly effective. The downside is our opponent's probably going to have Wraths now, I would assume. Opponent passes. Well, play a Plains. Emery. Mill some cards. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. 18. Go. Well, we wouldn't mind some free graveyard value. Give us something to do next turn if Emery sticks around. And if our opponent has to spend a real removal spell on Emery, that's... Not the end of the world. Another upside of Arcanus Owl is it does get around Ritual of Soot. Opponent, tap land, passes. Ooh, Disdainful Stroke. Well, play a land. Emery. Get back Puppet. Play Puppet. Scry. Um. Hmm. I think we go Mystic Forge bottom for now. We already got one in hand. Go to combat. Get in with Ginger Brew. Get to leave up our Disdainful Stroke. 
And we will stroke basically anything here. Opponent. Fabled Passage. Cracks it. Yeah, we'll... We'll stroke... What would we not stroke here? Maybe Veraska? Definitely, like, Questing Beast, Wicked Wolf. Thrashing, but on to Don. All right. Well, we can't stroke that. Opponent passing. That happens so much on Arena. I'll play the land. Emery. Get back Lockwing Gargoyle. Play Lockwing Gargoyle. Ginger Brew. Combat. Get in. Opponent. 16. Pass the turn. We are running out of stuff to... Stuff to Emery. What you got, opponent? What you got? We kind of want our opponent to play something we can disdain full stroke, so that we can stop leaving up the mana. Ugh. Or maybe our opponent's going to keep playing stuff that we can't disdain full stroke. Yeah, that's an Oko. What does Oko do? Going to hit our Ginger Brew. Okay. Let's broaden your existence. Opponent. Fable Passage. And passes. All right, what do we draw? Island. Well, play the island. Mm. What's the worst thing that happens if we actually play something here? Yeah, let's Arcanus Owl. I feel like with this Oko out, we can't keep not adding anything to the battlefield. Opponent cracking Fabled Passage. Interesting. Maybe our opponent has a counter of some kind. Grabs a Swamp. Wow! Brought in disdainful strokes of their own. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Well, no attacks. Pass the turn. Opponent. Well, let's see how punished we get for going shields down. We gotta apply pressure, though, with Oko out. We have to. Opponent. Lockwing Gargoyle. 3-3. Three, three. Oh, dear. And, alright. Well, here comes punishment. Veraska. Go ahead. Kills Emery. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. Tap land. Opponent. Passing. Well, sack the puppet. Get a 1-1. One, one. Well, we draw land, which is good. Play Arcanus Owl. Get, wow, Mystic Forge Tribal. Combat. Veraska. Veraska. Faraska. Opponent going to block Ginger Brew. Yep. Well, Veraska down. We still have an Oko to deal with and a Brontodon, but... I mean, we're going to start forging at some point. Opponent. Fable Passage. Two cards in hand at the moment. Oh, would be nice to get rid of this Oko. Garrick. Well, we will definitely disdainful stroke that. 100%. Opponent makes a food. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Passes. Ooh, Conclave Tribunal's nice. Well, play Conclave Tribunal. Hit Brontodon. I mean, you can blow it up if you want, but the Brontodon's still gone. Okay, opponent cracks. Looks like they are gonna blow it up. Gets a forest. Kills Tribunal. Well, Oko down to one. I'll think up oh, I wonder if there's any argument to going face. Eh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. About it. What do you got? Another Garrick. Good God. Make some wolves. Oh, that's that's pretty devastating. That's very devastating. Arcanus Owl. Let's well, your existence. play Mystic Forge. Play a Plains. Hmm. Pass the turn. Yeah, I think that second Garrick's going to beat us, unfortunately. Oh, that's brutal. Well, there's a reason that cards like Oko and Garrick are very expensive, and it's because they're very powerful. Yeah, I'm not sure what we do now that Garrett can just make wolves forever. Opponent makes wolves. We are the apex predators. again. 
as a Midnight Rider. All right, yep. So I think our hope is to chain stuff together into a ginger brew is what we need to put this all that glitters on. It's not poison. That's our potential out opponent. Passing. All right, let's see what happens. Top card. Arcanus Owl. Well, we'll play it. Go digging. Get a Lockwain Gargoyle. Play Lockwain Gargoyle. Stone Coil Serpent. Pass the turn. Ooh. Protection for multicolor might become relevant here. Brontodon for our opponent. Blows up Mystic Forge. Well, we got a handful of those. Okay. Can protection from multicolor allow us to steal this? Maybe. It might let us get Garrick off the battlefield. Opponent. Yeah, downgrades our Arcanus Owl. Makes more wolves. Murderous Rider. Hmm. Okay, now we gotta do math. These are no longer artifacts. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh, this doesn't feel ideal, but I think we have to... Yeah. All that glitters, Lockwing Gargoyle. Give it flying. Kill Garrick. Pass the turn. We gotta get that Garrick off the battlefield. Next step is eventually getting this Oko off the battlefield. Gonna be a little tricky through a million wolves. What you got, opponent? Alright. Trades Gargoyle for a wolf. Well, Oko's down. That's the most important thing. Well, I think we just... Stone Coil X7. Hmm. No attacks. Oh, the Stone Coil Serpent. We have an all that glitters. Opponent, land. Opponent might not realize these have reach. This is sneaky reach. Reach trample pro multicolored. I mean, I think we're going to slam in all that glitters on Stone Coil and just go for it. Whoa, they're doing it. Opponent does not realize. Combat. Attack. So, well, sorry, opponent. We will... Opponent scoops it up! Oh! Wow! Wow, 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 wow! This deck! This deck! Oh, my goodness! This deck is insane! It's an aggro deck that can win on turn four, but apparently also beat Oko sitting on the battlefield for a bunch of turns, Garrick activating three times, still getting there! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness! This deck might actually be kind of legit. That, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Kind of a jaw-dropping performance for this deck, I would say. That is just, I'm blown away that our point can play that much disruption, and this deck can still keep up and thrive and survive and eventually win. It's one of the grindiest, most card advantage filled aggro decks I think I've ever played. Uh, and that's awesome. You combine the ability to just win out of nowhere on turn four with like Ginger Brew, all that glitters, glimmers, uh, with the ability to play this kind of game where it's like turn 20 or something, m tons of Planeswalker activations, all this disruption, still getting the job done. Oh, I love this deck. I love this deck. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some standard affinity, budget standard affinity. Ooh, I don't think we keep the one lander. If we had two lands, this hand would be great, but with one land, ugh. Well, now we might be keeping the one lander, unfortunately, because I don't know if we can afford to go to five. All right, in the magic gods we trust, Mystic Mystic Forge to the bottom. And we need a land. We need a land, we need a land. Land, Glimmer Brew. Any land off the top next turn, and we're relatively happy. Combat. Opponent's going to once upon a time. Incorrectly, rather than waiting till after they draw, but that's fine. Don't do it, though. Like, there's literally no reason to ever play this on your opponent's turn. On turn, 
on turn one. There's just no reason. Wait to see what you draw, because maybe what you draw changes what you're looking for. Land off the top. Not a land. Well, more ginger broods. More attacks. Opponent down to 18. We're going to need this land, though, because Golos will go over the top of us eventually. Opponent island. And Fay of Wishes. Hmm. Well, play Emery. We would have rather had a white land, but Emery's something. Mill. Oh, uh, there goes a white land. Yeah, if there's one drawback to this deck, it's definitely the budget mana can be problematic. Get in with Ginger Brew. Hit our opponent. Down to 17. Ugh, there's going to be so many Wraths. Opponent plays a Guildgate and an Aberreal Grazer. And a land. And opponent. Passes. Well... Ooh, the mana screw is real. Inquisitive puppet. Scry. See if we can find a land. For the love of God, please. Yeah, that's not a land. You go to the bottom. Ugh. Yeah. This is a matchup where we need to be the aggro. Gonna be very hard to win the long game against against uh, Golo's Fires of Invention deck. They just have so many wraths and so many ways to tutor them up. Opponent. Yeah, Fabled Passage. Cracks it. Gets a forest. There's a Golos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably getting Field of the Dead. Sure. Planes, please? Can we get a Planes? Alright, that's a Planes. We'll play the Planes. All that glitters on Ginger Brute. Unblockable. I mean, this is a pathway to maybe winning. We need our opponent to whiff, not have a Wrath for like two turns. Opponent, untaps. If we had had our white mana earlier, do they have a wrath? All right, it's a crosses looking for a wrath. But that is not an immediate wrath. All right. We got to fade it. We got to fade it for two turns. Pot it. Gets in. Gets in. Sure. That's fine. We'll take it. No blocks. You got it. Down to 16. We untap. Another Emery. Hmm. <laughs> All right, play another Emery, but keep the active Emery. Mill some cards. Emery for Inquisitive Puppet. Play Inquisitive Puppet. Keep the land. Ginger Brew gets in for six. Does our opponent have a Wrath? Opponent. To seven. All right, pass the turn, pass the turn. Presenting lethal if there's not a wrath. Land, zombie. Okay, that does not beat us. Also a sign of no wrath. What if it's crosses? One, two, three, four, five, six. And game three up to 10. Ugh, I don't know if we get to 10. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. Crosses, okay. Oh, are we going to be just short? I think we're going to be, like, one damage short. Opponent gets in, gets in, gets in. Six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. I think we're one damage short. Hmm. So we're drawing a land. We can get this up to eight power. Oh, man, if we had hit a land earlier. Well, double cross is pretty good for our opponent. So we'd be taking four, five. Huh, all right. Well, how many blockers? Okay, we got a block. Sack puppet, make a one, one. Yup. Drop to 11. Untap. Play a planes. Emery. Stone Coil Serpent. Cast Stone Coil Serpent. X1. Ginger Brew. Unblockable. Go to combat. Hit our opponent. Down to four. Pass the turn. Oh! Oh! All right, opponent. What you got? What you got? What you got? If they find interaction, then it's it's pretty much over. Oh man, so close! 
round cloak giant as a wrath. Okay. Interesting to do that before. Interesting to do that before attacking, but fine. Gain some life up to 14. Discards cards. Gets back Fey of Wishes. Yep. <clears throat> well, we'll see. Opponent stabilized for now. Sweeps the board. Plays a tap land, makes a zombie. To the top. That's not good either. Opponent passing. Well, play Arcanus Owl. Take a monitor. Play the island. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. At four life, but they have a wish in hand. More zombies coming, unfortunately. Ugh. Opponent. Fay of Wishes goes wishing. Four mana avail five mana available. Gets a guild summit to draw some cards. Hmm. I feel like this this leaves us live. I mean, if we top deck all that glimmers, I think we just jank them out. We have three left in our deck. Come on, magic gods. Come on. Come on. Come on. Be good. Be good to standard affinity. That works too! That works too! That works too! You can't block it! Oh man, you can't catch him! And that's exactly four! <laughs> I forgot about the ginger brood out! Through the wrath! Through the wrath! You can't catch him! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, good god. Good god! Got him again! The Golos assassin! Well, all right, Ashiok in, Disdainful Strokes in, Deputies in, going down, a uh, couple of Inquisitive Puppets. So one of the things to consider when you sideboard with this deck, because we are a Mystic Forge deck, when we bring in a bunch of non-artifacts, we have to think about either trimming Mystic Forges, because they're going to get worse, or cutting other non-artifact cards. So a lot of times... Uh, that's just something to keep in mind. If we sideboard out a ton of artifacts for non-artifacts, Mystic Forge gets a lot worse. So we're gonna trim a Mystic Forge here. Uh, go down a Corridor Monitor, an Inquisitive Puppet, and maybe one Emery. Yeah, let's go down one Emery. Run it like that. All right, I cannot believe we won that game, but we will not complain. <laughs> well, this deck sweet. All right, let's do it, opponent. Let's do it. Unfortunately, so we're on the draw this game, but that means if we lose, we do get to be on the play for game three, which is nice. Oh, oh, we're keeping. We're keeping. We will probably be punished and lose, but if we draw a land in our first two turns, Ginger Brute double all that glitters can kill our opponent's deck before, again, wait, wait as long as you can to play once upon a time. Oh, it's a land. All right, all right, we got a plan. Ginger Brute double all that glitters can potentially just kill our opponent before they can recover essentially this is how we can get like the turn four kills opponent tap land sure we play a planes all that glitters on ginger brew get in for three we would like one more land probably opponent down to 16 on tap land down to 14 and all right so teferi is gonna buy our opponent a bunch of time bounces ginger brew yep now play Ginger Brew. Play Ginger Brew. Kill Teferi. Hit our opponent. Down to 13. Opponent. Wouldn't mind a blue land. Blue land would be great. Opponent. Another Teferi. Ticks up. Oh, we draw planes. So we will... Stone Coil Serpent, X1. All that glitters on Ginger Brew. Kill to Fairy, hit our opponent. Uh, no Wrath, please. No Wrath, no Wrath. Opponent of 13, what you got? Untap land, do they have the Wrath? They do, Round Cloak Giant. Ugh, that's where we needed our blue mana. Hmm, yeah, all right. This is not working out the way we wanted. Stone Coil X3, so close! 
Yeah, like I said before, the weakness of this deck is the budget mana, the limited mana base. Pony gets to Golos now, which is bad, bad news. Gonna be able to start making zombies. And I think we might have we might have uh, had our shot, but lost it in this one. Opponent makes a zombie. Inquisitive puppet. Sure. Scry. Steal overseer bottom. Ugh. Yeah. Not having a blue source is really painful here. No attacks. Pass the turn. Opponent. Root. Many zombies. Also, Golos is going to be active. And yeah, this this is where our deck is going to have a hard time keeping up with Golos. Opponent. Deputy of Detention. Just run it all out. Sure. Hits Inquisitive Puppet because it's the only option. Gets in. We kill a zombie. It's a ambitious attack. Down to 17. Oh, limited mana. Limited mana. Well, play Mystic Forge. Pass the turn. Opponent. Combat. Attacks. Yeah. Down to 14. And... Fey of Wishes. Tutoring from the sideboard. Yeah, now I don't even know if blue mana is good enough. I think uh, it's too late. Gets a guild summit. Fabled Passage. Zombies. Cracks it. Zombies. Guild Summit. Yeah, we gotta exile this. Oh my god, more white mana. Oh, this mana. Okay, opponent. Well, exile the white mana, because that doesn't do anything. <laughs> Lockwing Gargoyle. More white mana. All right, on to game number three. Yeah, that is, I mean... Hopefully it works out most of the time, but there is definitely a drawback to playing literally all basic lands. Even in a deck that's mostly colorless, that's the one reason we can kind of get away with it a little bit, is, is our deck is mostly colorless cards. But, yeah, I mean, you do what you gotta do when you're trying to minimize your wild card spent, or minimize your dollars spent. Just, like, four Fabled Passage and four Hollowed Fountains, like, I don't know, $100, $120 or something ridiculous, so we get to play first. And we will mulligan. Yeah, all right. We'll give this a go. We will keep. We got Ginger Brutes, but not a way to really speed up the clock. Actually, let's keep Deputy and put Stone Coil Servant to the bottom. Ashiok would be sweet if we can get it down in time. Uh, land. Ginger Brute. Get it for one. Opponent, 19. Untaps. So we want another blue source. We want all that glimmers. Those are the main cards we want. Opponent, this time once a, I think they hurt us. <laughs> this time they once upon a time after drawing for their turn, which is a good way to once upon a time. Untap land, Temple Garden, and Abriel Grazer getting their ramp on. Ooh, Ashiok, please. Blue manas. Blue manas. All the glitters. Well, all right, we're going aggro. Unfortunately, Teferi's really good against this. Go attacking. Opponent blocks with Grazer. I assume this means that Teferi's coming, sadly. Well, not yet. Boros Guildgate. Once upon a time. This time for full price. Okay. I mean, we're going to keep being aggro and keep doing our best. Oh, Deputy of Detention. That's worse. That's much, much worse. And we still don't draw land. Well, play Emery. Mill three lands that we wanted to draw. Get in with Ginger Brew. Uh, opponent. Field of the Dead. Gets rid of our Ginger Brew, I assume. Yup. Alright, well, there's blue mana. Play Ashiok. Mill our opponent. <laughs> Ashiok is definitely helpful. That is a good draw. Pass the turn. That's, that mana was key. That is very important. Opponent. Golos can come down, but it can't tutor. Crosses X2. Draws a card. Looking for lands, I assume. Opponent. Passing. Well, play Deputy of Detention. 
get rid of Crossus. Yeah, Ashiakia. Ooh, we milled in much in non lands. That might actually help our opponent. All right, pass the turn. We wouldn't mind another land. Opponent, that beauty of detention. Ooh, all right. Gonna get rid of our Ashiok? Hmm. Uh, come on, another deputy of detention off the top. Opponent, pass it. Oh my god, it is! Oh, that was the luckiest draw I think I've ever hit. Oh my goodness. Only one was left in the deck. Snag a bolt, snag a bolt, get him back. It's an Ashiok. Go attacking. Oh, what a swing. What a swing. What a top deck. The magic gods coming through. Exile some stuff with our fresh Ashiok. Oh, man. If our opponent could only know we only have two deputies of detention. Opponent, land. Cracks it. Nope. That's not going to do what you want. Opponent realizing the harsh realities of Ashiok. Can we get a shame scoop? One time? One time shame scoop? Crosses. Draws a card. Well, we play a land. We play Arcanus Owl. Take all that glitters. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Opponent blocks. Hmm. Yeah, I mean we're gonna we're gonna keep Ashiokig. Target you. Behold. I return. A wrath is still a little scary. Opponent untaps. To fairy. Okay. Right on schedule. Tap land. Scries. Takes up to fairy. Let's try this. Opponent. Passing. Steel overseer. Well, all that glitters. On ginger brew. Hmm. Ginger brew. Can't be blocked. Kill to fairy. It's only a matter of time. Oh, pass the turn. No wrath, no wrath, no wrath. Opponent. Combat. Oh, they have the wrath. Attacks us. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is super unfortunate. And we block. Opponent wraths. Mmm. So close. And that's how the dream dies. We lose the Ashiok. You will be haunted. Opponent draws a land, plays a land. Inquisitive puppet. Planes to the bottom. Steel overseer. Oh, that was our chance. So close, but our opponent got to the wrath, and we did not have a way to stop it. Oh. Wow, we wanted this one. Golos, gonna start making zombies. And that's going to make our life very difficult. Oh, man. Opponent, Fable Passage for zombie purposes. Passing. We draw. Oh, now here comes. Now here comes all the lands. Yeah, pass the turn. Oh, no! Oh, what a way to lose to Golos. Bought it, lad, zombies. Gonna make a million of them, sure. They can activate Golos to cast things for free. Makes another zombie. Oh, wow. Oh. Root to make a million zombies. With Ashiok being gone... Things uh things are bad. Things are really bad. Oh, oh, oh that wrath for our opponent saved their life. Yeah. Oh, if only we could have hit a disdainful stroke. That would have really, really changed the trajectory. Opponent gets in with Golos. Yeah, well, he'll steal overseer, sure. Counter him up. Look out opponent. No blocks. Down to 17. Emery. It's cute, but not enough here. 
Mill, another all that glimmers. Yeah. Oh, and that's the end. Oh, we were so close. That was brutal. That was brutal. Oh, all right. I mean, still a good showing for the deck, but not a win, sadly. Hi, 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 hi. Well, all right. On to the next. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some standard affinity, and uh, this hand's this hand's fine. Watery grave. Hmm. Yeah, let's just pass. I think there's some argument to just running out stone coil X one. Oh my God, it's mill. All right. Uh, well, land. Steel overseer. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how this is going to go. Literally none. If our opponent has Wraths, probably poorly. Apprentice. Mills us. Sure, sure, sure. Opponent. Mills us again. Uh, yeah. So we don't have a really clean answer to this. Opponent scries both to the top. That's concerning. Well, uh, play a land. Play... Steel Overseer. Stone Coil Serpent. Pass the turn. Yeah, Ritual of Soot's insane here. Opponent. Passing. Well, Steel Overseer. Grow the Dorks. Untap. Ugh, all the Emery's. Play a land. The downside with Emery is it mills us. Uh, let's Stone Coil Serpent. X3. Opponent counters and mills. Yep. We will play Emery. Mill ourselves, unfortunately. Uh, Steel Overseer. Steel Overseer. Go attacking. Opponent down to 16. Oh, no wraths. No wraths. No wraths. Opponent. Murderous Rider. Kills Emery. Okay. Passes. Hmm. Well, go to combat. All attack. Opponent blocks. Ooh, play another Emery. <laughs> Mill ourselves for four more. And opponent, oh, opponent scoops it up. Oh my goodness, we got there. Okay. They did not have a Wrath. Well, that is good news. Oh my goodness. The bad news is we're not really built with Mill in mind. <laughs> we'll bring a Dance of the Mans. I guess disdainful strokes, perhaps? And maybe that's it? I think we're going to trim an Emery. We just can't afford to mill for ourselves all that much. I think our best way to win this matchup is probably just to be very aggressive. Go down a puppet. Go down a monitor. We could bring in, like, Conclave Tribunal. Hmm... Yeah, let's go up a Conclave Tribunal, go down at Emery, and eh, try it like that. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, if we're really aggressive, I think we have a shot. We won that one just by putting the pedal to the metal. Um, hmm. All right, I mean, we'll keep. Undab land for our opponent. And Merfolk Secret Keeper mills us. Well, land, Gargoyle. Not the most aggressive of creatures. Pass the turn. Opponent, Swamp, and Drown Secrets. I'll play a land. Yeah, play Stone Coil Serpent. X2. Pass the turn. Yeah, send a message. <laughs> Opponent, untaps. Oh, and we got one in hand. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, the good news is we can get rid of Drown Secrets. Oh, the old two for one. Untap. Opponent, Mystic Sanctuary. Passes. Um, play a land. Yeah. Gargoyle, hit you for two. We aggro now. Opponent. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Mills us. Scries. Looking for lands, I assume. Both to the top. Uh-oh. All right. Opponent passes. Disdainful Stroke. I'll play Ginger Brew. Attack with Ginger Brew. 
Hit our opponent. 15. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Secret Keeper. And passes. Well, play steal overs here. Opponent has a counter. Not a milling counter, though. Just a sabotage. Leaves a card on top. Well, we will pass the turn. Uh, opponent. Thought Erasure. Gonna take our Disdainful Stroke, I assume. Yup. Alright, shields are officially down. Opponent leaves it on top. Always a good one. And passes. Well, oh, play an island. I mean, I guess we're just doing this. We can't really do anything else. Ginger Brew. Lockwing Gargoyle. Attack for three. Opponent down to 12. At least our stuff's evasive. I mean, that's something. Opponent. Secret Keeper. Mills us. Down to 36 cards. Opponent passes. Hmm. Well, same plan. Ginger Brew. Lockwing Gargoyle. Go attack it. Opponent down to nine. Um, yeah, let's just pass. Maybe there's some world where this works. A rankle. Ew. What is our opponent's deck doing? Okay, gets in. Uh, we will sack Gargoyle. I'll play the land. Play Corridor Monitor. Play Corridor Monitor. Play Gargoyle. Ginger Brew. Get in for one. Opponent down to eight. Opponent. Combat. Gets in with a rankle. Uh-huh. What do they choose? Nothing. Oh, Ritualist. Uh, yeah, that probably does it. Oh! And we scoop it up. Wow! Oh, if they didn't have that Ritual of Soot, we would have... I think we would have won there. Or been very close to winning. Huh. Rankle. What in the world is going on with this deck? Um... Okay, uh, maybe we go up one more Conclave Tribunal, run it like that? Huh, I don't know what's happening, honestly. It is some sort of mill deck that also is playing Rankles. Well, we'll play first. Alright, this is way more lands than we want, but Ginger Brew into Steel Overseer is a legit start. And now we're just going to have to hope that we start drawing non-lands, preferably. Opponent, tap land. Gains a life. Well, steal overseer. Go attacking. Opponent down to 19. Opponent, swamp. And ground secrets. Uh, play a planes. Steal overseer. Go attacking. Opponent. Down to 17. Opponent. Castle Vantress. Thought erasure. Well, this means we're going to resolve something good. Either Mystic Forge or Arcanist Owl are both legit cards here. All right, opponent takes the Owl. Leaves it on top. I don't know if a blue-black deck can easily get rid of a Mystic Forge. We will play the Island. Play the Mystic Forge. Steal Overseer. Go attacking. Opponent. Down to 14. Opponent. Do they have a Ritual of Sut? Well, this Mystic Forge is huge. Huge, 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 huge. Opponent grabs an island untapped. There's the Ritual of Sut. Well, we get to untap with an active Mystic Forge. Uh, play Inquisitive Puppet. Um, let's put Emery to the bottom. Play Corridor Monitor. Play a land, play Steel Overseer. We're gonna keep Conclave Tribunal on top. That seems worthwhile. Do you have another Ritual of Soot opponent? Opponent plays a tap land. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Alright, so that's gonna mill our Tribunal. And a Steel Overseer. Yup. Does some scrying. Yeah, our Candace Owl's good. Both to the top. Opponent likes them. And. 
Kill steal overs here, but drops to 12. Opponent passing. We draw. Arcanus Owl. Go to our main phase. Steal overs here. Um. Hmm. Inquisitive Puppet. Uh, go to the bottom. It's going to get milled anyway. Land. Stone Coil Serpent. X3. Pass the turn. Opponent's at 12. Do they have another Ritual of Sun? Jace. Okay. I mean, Jace is good at milling, but our clock is speeding up. Opponent mills two lands that we didn't want anyway. Resolves. I'm always a step ahead. Jace, how many cards do we have? 35. Mills us. It's a matter of give and take. What's on top? Mystic Forge. Plays a land. What do you got, opponent? Can you kill our Steel Overseer? Opponent. Passing. Well, let's exile, exile with Mystic Forge. Exile Mystic Forge. Untap. Draw. Um, Main phase. Arcanus Owl. Mystic Dispute. All right. Mills us. Yep. Well, Exile with Mystic Forge. Stone Coil Serpent. X2. Steel Overseer. I'll attack our opponent. I mean, we're just putting pedal to the metal. Trying to kill our opponent before they kill us. Hopefully they don't hit a Ritual of Soot. Opponent. Jump Blocking. Drops to six. I mean, this is a game. This is a game. Do you have a Ritualist opponent? Do you have a Ritualist that they get a redraw with Jace? This is it. This is it. This is everything. 28 cards were not getting milled out. Opponent mills us. Looking for the Ritualist. Two lands we didn't want anyway. Top card is an Arcanus Owl. Opponent, Castle Vantress. Two cards in hand. And do you have the Sweeper? Murderous Rider. That's not going to do it. That is not going to save you, I don't think. Opponent, is it game? Ritual of Soot's off the table. If they kill Steel, Steel Overs here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that's still enough through a Murderous Rider. I guess if they can, like, Legions and Stone Coil Serpent, that would keep them alive for a turn. Getting rid of both of them. Good game. Hypnotic Sprite. Mills us. I believe this is still lethal. Sure. Yes. Oh, Corridor Monitor is nice. An opponent scoops it up. Whoo! All right, taking down Mill with standard affinity. I mean, not the most top tier ish of matchups, but we'll dig it. We'll dig it. We'll dig it. We'll dig it. Whoo! <sighs> Mill always scares me. I don't know why. Even though Mill's not like top tier or anything, I always feel like I'm gonna lose to Mill, whether I do or not. Whoo! <sighs> All right, sweet, sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are playing standard affinity, and uh, yeah. I mean, let's see what our hand looks like. Let's glimmer them. <laughs> Opponent. Well, okay. This looks like a keep to me. We got an all that glitters. We have some stuff to play. Watery Grave. I'll play a land, play Inquisitive Puppet. We will keep blue mana. Pass the turn. Opponent. Gunly Shrine. Thought Erasure. Ugh. If this is stacks, I'm not sure that this works in our favor. I guess we'll see. The stack stack has so many wraths. <laughs> Take steel overseer. Leaves it on top. Passes. Well, play a planes. Yeah, whatever. All the glitters. Get in for two. Pass the dirt. Golden Egg. All right, definitely stacks. Opponent gets a redraw. The big issue is the Wraths. Opponent, Watery Grave, and passes. Now play a land, play Lockwing Gargoyle. All that glitters. I mean, we're... I guess we're going as aggro as possible. If our opponent does not have a Wrath this turn, we're presenting lethal. Opponent down to eight. Come on, come on. No land Wrath, no land Wrath, no land Wrath. Land. And Wrath. I mean, that's a that's a good Inquisitive Puppet. Opponent cracks. Ooh, gets a Plains and has the Wrath. Oh, we were so close. Well, play Emery. 
Oh, we almost got there. Mill some cards. Pass the turn. Yeah, now things are bad. Opponent. To Fairy Time Raveler. This isn't a fight you can win. Gonna bounce Emery. Draw a card. I've got time. And plays an untap land. And a golden egg. Draws a card. No, well, alright. Play land. Mystic Forge. The problem here is if our opponent has Doom Foretold, it just absolutely, absolutely ruins us. Opponent takes up to Fairy. Don't worry, I got this. Tap land. Passing. Well, we draw Ginger Brew. We exile the land. We play Ginger Brew. We play Emery. We go to combat. We hit our opponent down to five. All right, opponent has a Legion's End. So Ginger Brute down. Well, yeah, pass the turn. Saxon Egg gains some life. Opponent taken up to Fairy. I've got it. There's the Doom foretold. Now, we will sack Mystic Forge. Draw planes. Play a planes. Play Mystic Forge. Emery for Inquisitive Puppet. Play Puppet. Um, land to the bottom. Well, all right, another land. Pass the turn. Opponent, got to sack their egg. To fairy. Bounces Emery. Sure. No, I am not making this up as I go. And another to fairy. I can no longer stand by and watch. Well, all right. We'll sack the puppet. This does mean we lose Mystic Forge again. Ugh, Doom Foretold's really good against us. Opponent. Tap land. Well, exile the land. Hmm. All right. We lose our card draw. We kill to fairy, hopefully. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Play Inquisitive Puppet. Eh, yeah, sure. I guess we should have played Emery first, maybe. Emery, mill some cards. And pass the turn. Opponent loses a Doom Foretold. But they're to the dance for the man's part of the game. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, all right. All right, all right. I think we've milled all of our all the glitters. Yeah, we have. Which is pretty bad. There's the dance of the man. Gets everything back. Draw some cards. Yep. And back to this. Temple of Silence. Scries. To the bottom. Opponent. Passing. All right. Doom foretold. We sack our puppet. Emery. Get back Mystic Forge. Cast Mystic Forge. Stone Coil Serpent. Uh, yeah, Stone Stone Coil Serpent. X1. Get in for one. Opponent down to eight. Doom for told. Opponent sacks an egg. Opponent. Kaya's Wrath. Ugh, yeah, I think that... I think that does it. This has got to be about our worst matchup in all of in all of the format. Faye of Wishes, going to tutor from the sideboard. Oh, Well, I mean, the good thing is, even with how bad this match went... Yeah, we're going to scoop it up. Uh, even with how bad that this game went, remember, if you look back, we had our opponent dead on turn four if they did not have untapped land wrath. And... Unfortunately, they did have untapped land wrath, which obviously is not ideal, but we did have them in that position. So we're going to bring in basically anything that can interact with our opponent's plan. Ashiok for graveyard, stance to get our stuff back. Conclave can get rid of a doom foretold, although it's kind of risky because... Although it's kind of risky because once it dies to Doom Foretold, things become a lot worse. Trim some early game stuff. Actually, maybe we have to go down. 
Hmm. And Emery? Yeah, let's keep Emery. All right, run it like that. Yeah, this is not the matchup that we want to be playing against. Just too many Wraths and basically the only deck in the format that main deck interacts with, or kills, I should say, Mystic Forge. And that's the biggest problem. Mystic Forge is our way of beating Wrath decks, but thanks to Doom Foretold, our opponent kind of like accidentally is able to kill Mystic Forge a lot of games, which is pretty rough. Uh, opponent, tap land, scrying. Sure, sure, sure. To the top. Now, plan land, steal overseer. Go attacking. Opponent, down 18. Untap land for our opponent, guild globe. Now, well, play an island, play a ginger brute. Steal overseer. Yeah, we gotta attack with both. If we get Legion's End, we get hit by Legion's End. We can't really, we can't really do anything about it. Pwn it. What you got, what you got. Untap land down to 10. Oath of Kaya. Okay. Kill Steel Overseer. Goes to 12. Opponent passing. I'll play a planes. Go to combat. Attack. Mystic Forge. Pass the turn. What you got, opponent? Ugh, cry of the Carnarium. All right. Well, Mystic Forge, Exile of the Land. Fabled Passage. Mystic Forge, Exile. Eh, actually, we can draw the land. That's fine. Draw the land. Exile the land. Ugh. That is a lot of lands in a row. Play the land, pass the turn. Hmm. Yeah, that's like five lands in a row on the top of our deck. Opponent, Crack's Fabled Passage. Gets a Plains. Well, we will counter Doom Foretold for now. Opponent plays a tap land. Yeah, exile the land. We need some action. <laughs> Gargoyle. Well, Mystic Forge, number two. Play an island. Serpent, X2. Pass the turret. All right, opponent, what you got, what you got. We're not that far away from janking our opponent out with this Stone Coil Serpent. Opponent draws a card. Teferi cannot stop Stone Coil. Right on schedule. Is there any way we can win this turn with Stone Coil? Takes up Teferi. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Oh, I think we're gonna be just short. Tap land, opponent, passing. Well, let's see. All that glitters. Mystic Forge, exile. Mystic Forge, more lands, exile. Emery, we'll play Lockwing Gargoyle. All that glitters. Opponent, two. All right, pass the turn. Does our opponent have an answer? Ticks up to fairy. Gonna go instant speed wrath action, perhaps. Oh, Realm Cloak Giant. All right, that's a good one. We draw Emery. Oh my goodness, we have had so many lands on the top of our deck. Exile a lad. Oh my goodness, do we even have lads left in our deck? We only have 22. Play Emery. Oh, Mill and All That Glitters. Holy goodness. How many? All right, we gotta look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven exiled. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Here we go. Opponent bounce. Ugh. Yeah, we, we do not have many lands left. Fourteen. We basically have zero lands left in our deck. We have like six or eight. Because we've just drawn them all. I'll play Ginger Brew. Steel Overseer. Yeah, we're going for it. All that glitters. Tag your face? Nothing? Nothing? Dead? Oh, dead! All right, all right, all right. Through the Raz, through the Endless Lads. Standard Affinity. It keeps doing it. It keeps doing it. Um, do we want to change anything? I'm going to say no. Run it back. Run it back. That's the recipe. Ginger Brew out of nowhere with all the glimmers. That's how we can win. Well, we're on the draw here for game number two. Or game number three. Can we finish it out with a win against probably our worst matchup in the format? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Eh, all right. 
I mean, we're going to keep Tapland for our opponent to the top. Uh, play a land, Ginger Brew. Start El Bitorino, opponent, down at 19. Untap land for our opponent, Guild Globe, sure. Uh, play a land, Stone Coil Serpent, X1. One mana Emery. Mill some cards. Go attacking, opponent, 16. What do you got, opponent? What do you have? Thought Erasure, off the Guild Globe. Probably gonna take Disdainful Stroke. Yup, takes a stroke. Oh, we really needed that. Mills a land. Opponent. Plays a Scry land. To the top. Now play an island. Emery. Get back Stone Coil Serpent. Play it. Unfortunately, this is Wrath time. Go attacking. Yeah, we needed that Disdainful Stroke. That Thought Erasure. Game swinging. There's the Caius Wrath. Well, play a land Mystic Forge. But the problem here is, if our opponent has Doom Foretold, we just get wrecked. Land. To Fairy Time Raffler. Sorry, I'm late. Opponent, gonna bounce Mystic Forge. Well, we will exile the uncastable all that glitters. Goes nothing. Opponent draws a card. Play Lockwing Gargoyle. Play Steel Overseer. Pass the turn. Uh, opponent takes up to fairy. I have a plan. Tap land. Four cards in hand still. Um, play Mystic Forge. Steel Overseer. Go attacking. Um, yeah, we'll hit to fairy. There is instant speed wrath. Sure, sure, sure. Yup, untap. Oh, not looking good, not looking good. Opponent. Takes up to fairy. This might be a bad idea. Golden egg. Draws a card. Opponent. Tap land. And passes. Well, we draw land. Play ginger brew. Play land. <sighs> Go to combat. Attack to fairy. Mystic Forge, number two. Pass the turn. Opponent on taps. Tags up to fairy. Unfortunately, we can't even disdainful stroke. There's the doom foretold. We can't even disdainful stroke because of this to fairy. So I think we have to exile it. Yeah. Mystic Forge, exile. Planes. Yeah. Actually, I think we'll draw the planes. We do want white mana eventually. Opponent. Doom foretold. We sack Ginger Brew. Oh, the Disdainful Stroke would have protected us from Dance of the Mans, too. Well, Mystic Forge. Exile. Stone Coil Serpent. X1. Steel Overseer. Planes. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Gets a Planes. Doom foretold. Gonna sack the egg. Yep. Opponent's got three cards in hand. Takes up to fairy. Again. I'll protect you. Plays a land. And. Passing. Alright, Doom foretold. We'll sack the serpent. Untap. Well, I mean, we're going for Dance of the Mads. Dance of the Mads, X4. Arcanus Owl. Steel Overseer. Ginger Brute. Ginger Brute. Opponent could still have Instant Speed Wrath. Arcanus Owl. Gets us a Arcanus Owl. Activate Steel Overseer. Opponent has Cry of the Carnarium. Oh, so many answers. All right. Well, we'll pass the turn. Opponent cracks. If they also have instant speed, Dance of the Mans, that's probably death. All right, Doom Foretold, Teferi goes away. No Dance of the Mans, that's good. That's good, we got a 4-4. Are we in this game? Is there a chance? Oh, they sacked the Doom Foretold, okay. Opponent, follows it up with a golden egg to draw a card. 
What's Teferi going to do? Bounce our owl. Draw a card. Guild Globe. Draw a card. They're digging for the dance. They're digging for the rats. That's kind of what this deck does. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Opponent. Ashiok's milled. Counters are gone. Opponent untap land. Oh, it looks like it looks like they drew into the dance. Yup. Dance. Doom foretold. Draws a bunch of cards. And that looks like the end to me. Alright. We sack Mystic Forge. We draw land. Land Arcanus Owl. Gets a Ginger Brew. Forge. Exiles. Ginger Brew. Hit to Fairy. Get it off the battlefield. I suppose that's how it Pass the turn. Doom foretold. Opponent's got plenty of sacrifice fodder. Gives up a guild globe. More to fairies. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Takes up to fairy. I've got it. Uh, opponent. I mean, we've given our opponent a fight, but I think I don't think it ends with us winning. Fay of Wishes. Tutors up an Ashiok. Plays Ashiok. Well, our opponent's tapped out. Is there a world where we could chain stuff together? Oh, there goes an all the glitters. What's on top of our deck? Steel Overseer. Opponent plays a land. Passing. Alright, so we lose Ginger Brew, unfortunately. Draw Steel Overseer. I'll play Stone Co uh, Go to our main phase. Arcanus Owl. Goes digging. That's an all that glitters. Exile. All that glitters. On Arcanus Owl. Kill to Fairy. It's only a matter all of right. time. Alright. Doom foretold. Triggers. Opponents only got one card in hand. Only one. We're presenting potential lethal. About it. Golden Egg draws a card. I guess the Fey of Wishes can block. Oh! Excellent timing. Oh. Yep. I've got time. Oh, that's the draw we had to not see. To Fairy number four. Eh, maybe it's just three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opponent exiles more of our good stuff. Down to 20 cards in our deck. Top card is a Mystic Forge. Opponent plays Fey of Wishes. Doom foretold. I feel like we're just locked. Sag Arcanus Owl. Play Arcanus Owl. Take Conclave Tribunal. Conclave Tribunal. Get rid of Ashiok. I mean, we are trying super hard. We are fighting the good fight to the max, but we couldn't counter the dance of the manse, and that's that's what happens when dance resolves. Opponent just has endless doom foretold fuel. Opponent Don't takes worry. up to fairy, passes. Doom foretold. We will sack Mystic Forge, unfortunately. Untap. Play. Ugh. Thought Erasure. Keeps getting worse. Mystic Forge down. And, yeah. We've just been run out of possible ways of winning. Oh, that was close. That was super close. Ay, 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 ay. Ha! Well, you can't win them all. And we gave what has to be the worst matchup for our deck in all of Standard a really tough run for their money. A tough, hard, super long three-game match. So I guess we can't be too disappointed. Yeah, all right. 
So what do we learn this week about standard affinity? And overall, five matches, we went three and two, although really, even in our two losses, they were really close, hard-fought matches. So we took down Golos, we took down Saltai Midrange, we took down this blue-black mill deck, and then our losses, we played against a Golos Fae of Wishes deck. Ah, that deck had a lot of wrath. And then we lost to Esper Stacks, which might be our worst matchup in all of standard. Uh... Esper stacks, we talked about a little bit during the video. They have a lot of Wraths, which we can fight through with Mystic Forge. The problem with Esper stacks is Doom Foretold gives them a way to like kill Mystic Forge. So we had a lot of games where our opponent would be like, Wrath your board, and we're like, whatever, Mystic Forge. And then our opponent's just like, Doom Foretold, kill your Mystic Forge. And then things spiral out of control really quickly. But still, even in those matchups, they were very close and hard fought and went really long. So uh, that's kind of the power of this deck. And I think if there's one thing that came across in this video is how this deck is an aggro deck that can also play the long game. We played some games that went incredibly long against like Golos, against Sultai, uh, and we were able to just grind through with Emery and Mystic Forge, and that's a lot of the power of this deck. Unlike some aggro decks, which just kind of like spew out their hand, try to win quickly, uh, we have the ability to play a really long game really effectively, thanks to Mystic Forge, or Arcanus Owl, Emery, plus we still have the just jank them out early. Like the games where we go like turn one Ginger Brute, turn two Steel Overseer, turn three, one drop, one drop, one drop, activate Steel Overseer, or one drop into Corridor Miner, untap Steel Overseer. Those type of games, we can win really quickly. Or sometimes we just like Ginger Brew, all that glitters, all that glitters, and just kill our opponent with a Ginger Brew. So we have the aggro turn four kills, and then we also have this long game ability. So all around, I think this is actually a pretty legit deck. As far as upgrades, there's really not a whole lot to do. The main deck, I think, is pretty well set in stone, minus the mana base. If you want to upgrade the mana base, uh, one thing you don't want is any tap dual lands. We would rather have the limited mana base and sometimes not have blue for Emery or sometimes not have white for all that glimmers than have to play tap lands. So if you decide to upgrade the mana base, I think you're looking at four basics out for Hollowed Fountain in and then probably like a couple more basics out for some castles, which are just kind of like a free roll for the most part. Uh, they don't do a ton, but they do offer a little bit of value when the game goes long. So I think that's what you're looking for upgrade wise. Otherwise, I think you basically leave the main deck unchanged change. Sideboard, a little bit in flux. It's awkward how we have a lot of non-artifact cards in our sideboard, which are kind of necessary, but then it like weakens our main plan when we bring them in. So that's kind of the weird balancing act. So the sideboard, I'm sure, could still uh, be worked on a little bit, be improved. But overall, I think Standard Affinity is pretty legit, even fully upgraded. It's only like 125 150 bucks depending on how you build the sideboard. So fully optimal, not that expensive. Budget build, really solid. All around, I I think this is a really sweet deck. Uh, I'm not a huge aggro player, but I love aggro decks that can also play the long game, and I think that's the main power of standard affinity. Quick kills combined with the ability to still win a game that goes like 12 turns, which a lot of aggro decks don't have, make it a pretty sweet and resilient deck. So anyway, that's been our budget magic for this week, standard affinity. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here